Mitral precargitation. Examination of this young lady reveals apex bit is in left 6 intercostal space lateral to the left mid clavicular line forceful and ill sustained. Left parasternal hip and palpable P2 is present. There is a systolic thrill in apical area. First heart sound soft, pulmonary component of second heart sound loud. A mid diastolic murmur present in apical area which is localized rough rumbling. Best heart in left lateral position. Breath hold in expiration with bell of stethoscope. Also, there is a blowing pan systolic murmur grade 4 by 6 in intensity, best heart in the apex radiating to axilla. So, what is your diagnosis? Mitral stenosis with mitral regurgitation with pulmonary hypertension. Do you have any differentials? Yes. MR, VSD. Which lesion is predominant? Mitral regurgitation. As apex bit is shifted, Character thrusting first heart sound soft. What may be the cause in this patient? Chronic rheumatic heart disease. What is your diagnosis? Another case, mitral regurgitation. Do you have any differentials? Yes, VSD, tricuspid regurgitation. How will you differentiate? In VSD, there is systolic thrill in lower, left lower parasternal area. First heart sound is normal in intensity. Pansystolic murmur best heard in left lower parasternal area, which is harsh in quality. In MR, murmur is best heard in apical area and murmur best heard in apical area radiating to axilla and murmur quality is blowing. In aortic stenosis, apex bit is forceful and sustained. Systolic thrill in aortic area and or in neck, first heart sound normal, A2 soft, ejection systolic murmur in aortic area radiating to carotids. Murmur quality harsh, usually signs of pulmonary hypertension absent. In TR, no thrill, pansystolic murmur, soft in quality, also in left lower parasternal area which accentuate in breath, hold in inspiration. In MR, murmur accentuated when breath hold in expiration. Mitral valve prolapse, mid systolic click followed by late systolic murmur. Murmur increased in inspiration. Dynamic auscultation reveals murmur of MBP increased with standing and valsalva maneuver. This occurs because a decrease in left ventricular volume reduces tension on the mitral valve. In effect, lengthening the valve apparatus, so early prolapse and click comes earlier. Squatting and standing has opposite effect. Why first heart sound soft? Due to non-captation of two mitral valve leaflets during closure. Why apex speed is shifted? Due to volume overload, as in each cardiac cycle, extra load of blood added to and diastolic volume. What are the causes of acute MR? Myocardial infarction, especially inferior MI, due to rupture or dysfunction of posterior papillary muscle. Infective endocarditis, due to leaflet perforation, rupture of cordy. Myxomatous degeneration, causing rupture of cordy tendon. Trauma after PTMC. Clinical feature of acute MR, sudden dyspnea, orthopnea and hypotension or cardiogenic shock. A patient of STMI suddenly developed sudden severe breathlessness at 5 days of CCU admission. What may be the possibilities? Acute LVF, ventricular arrhythmia, acute MR due to posterior PM rupture ventricular septal rupture, acute pericardial effusion, LB free wall rupture. How can you differentiate acute MR and VSR clinically? VSR may occur both in anterior and inferior infarction, but acute MR occur in commonly inferior infarction. First heart sound may be soft in acute MR. In VSR, there is parasternal thrill 
and harsh pansystolic murmur, but in acute MR, murmur may be absent or present in the apex, radiating to axilla or may radiate towards base. RB failure more likely in VSR, pulmonary edema more likely in acute MR. Giant V wave in pulmonary capillary wedge pressure almost always present in acute MR. If it is a case of acute MR, what is the type of MI, inferior MI? Why acute MR common in inferior MI? Due to involvement of posteromedial papillary muscle, which has single blood supply from PDA. Management of acute MR, medical management, after load reducing drug like IV nitroprusside or nitroglycerin, diuretic. IABP for temporary stabilization up to surgery, surgical treatment, mitral valve repair or replacement. Note, no ionotropes. When ischemic MR occur after 2 to 7 days of inferior MI, mortality of acute MR, mortality is 40 to 50 percent even after surgical correction. 5% of all mortality due to AMI. Why severe breathlessness in acute MR? Due to sudden rise of LA pressure which does not have time for compensatory change. So rapid rise of pulmonary venocapillary pressure and rapid development of pulmonary edema. Causes of chronic MR, chronic rheumatic heart disease, mitral valve prolapse, degenerative causes are Mixomatous degeneration of mitral valve leaflet, mitral annular calcification. Congenital causes are cleft mitral valve, ASD primum, parachute mitral valve, ischemic MR. Can left parastinal lift present in chronic MR without pulmonary hypertension? Due to left atrial dilatation, it pushes right ventricle towards forwards. Left atrium cannot push backward due to vertebral column. Left parasternal pulsation, lower left due to enlarged left atrium, lower, lower lift due to enlarged left atrium, lower hip due to IV hyper, RV hypertrophy. What is the pulse volume in MR? Initially it is normal, later when left ventricular systolic dysfunction develops, Pulse volume decrease. Feature of severity of mitral regurgitation clinically. Apex bit shifted. Increased duration of systolic murmur. Presence of third heart sound. Pulmonary hypertension. Atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation more common in MS than MR. Why? In mitral stenosis throughout systole and diastole, LA pressure is increased. So there is LA dilation and also structural change that is fibrosis of LA. Carpentier's classification of mitral regurgitation type 1, 2, 3. Type 1 means normal leaflet function. There is annular dilation due to dilated cardiomyopathy, ischemic cardiomyopathy and leaflet perforation. Type 2 MR where increased leaflet motion, myxomatous degeneration or fibroelastic disease causing papillary muscle rupture, caudal rupture. Type 3 restricted leaflet motion. Type 3 A leaflet motion restricted in both systole and diastole. Example rheumatic mitral valve disease. Type 3 B leaflet motion restricted in systole, left ventricular dilatation. ECG findings of MR, there is LA enlargement that is P wide more than 2.5 mm, atrial fibrillation absent P wave, LV enlargement, there is volume overload type of LV enlargement. So ECG changes is prominent Q wave in V5 and V6 with upright T. RA enlargement and RV hypertrophy. Chest X-ray 
reveals cardiomegaly with LB type apex, LA enlargement, features of pulmonary hypertension, features of pulmonary edema. Echocardiographic feature of mitral regurgitation. In parasternal long axis view, LA LV dilated, non captation of mitral valve, mitral valve prolapse 2 mm from captation line towards the left atrium. Papillary muscle rupture, rheumatic change in mitral valve like thickening, calcification of mitral valve leaflets and subvalvular apparatus. LB systolic function assessment, in M mode there is non-coptation. In color flow, regurgitant mosaic jet from LB to LA in systole. In parasternal short axis view reveals in grade vessel level pulmonary artery dilated. In mitral valve leaflet thickening, commissural fusion. In apical four chamber view, enlarge LA and LV, mitral valve leaflet thickening and calcification prolapse of leaflet. In color flow, regurgitant mosaic jet from LV to LA in systole or hollow systolic central or eccentric jet of MR. Vena contracta, TRZ velocity and pulmonary artery systolic pressure, systolic flow reversal in the pulmonary veins. Now echocardiography feature of MR severity. When central jet MR more than 40% of LA, hollow systolic eccentric jet MR reaching up to posterior wall of LA. Vena contracta 7 mm or more than 7 mm. Regurgitant volume 60 ml or more than 60 ml. Regurgitant fraction 50% or more than 50%. Effective regurgitant orifice area 0.4 cm square or more. Systolic flow reversal in the pulmonary veins. Enlarged LV size and enlarged LA size. Dense triangular continuous wave Doppler profile. Echocardiographic feature of severity of chronic ischemic MR. Effective regurgitant orifice area more than or equal to 0.2 cm square. Regurgitant volume more than or equal to 30 ml. Vena contracta 7 mm or more. Color flow regurgitant jet or left atrial area more than 40%. Peak mitral valve E wave velocity more than 1.2 meter per second. Dense triangular continuous wave Doppler profile. Systolic flow reversal in the pulmonary veins. Enlarged LV size, enlarged LA size. Large eccentric jet reaching up to posterior wall of LA plus minus LV systolic impairment. Eco signs of rheumatic mitral regurgitation, leaflet tip thickening, caudal thickening, adhesion and shortening, commissural fusion, indication of surgery in chronic primary MR, when symptomatic severe MR, asymptomatic severe MR with LV IDS 40 mm or more or LV ejection fraction 30 to 60%. Asymptomatic severe MR with pulmonary artery systolic pressure more than 50 mm mercury. Asymptomatic severe MR with new onset AF. Medical management of mitral regurgitation. If rheumatic phenoxymethyl penicillin prophylaxis, infective endocarditis prophylaxis. Lifestyle modification includes sodium restriction, fluid restriction, smoking and alcohol cessation. Avoidance of strenuous activity but regular aerobic exercise, AC inhibitor, ARB, beta blocker, diuretics. Now management of ischemic chronic MR. Surgery is indicated in patients with severe MR undergoing CAVG and LV ejection fraction more than 30%. Surgery should be considered in symptomatic patient with severe MR. LV ejection fraction less than 30%, option for revascularization and evidence of viability. Surgery may be considered in patients with severe MR, LV ejection fraction more than 30%, who remain symptomatic despite guideline-directed medical management. 
Surgery should be considered in patients with moderate MR undergoing CAVG. Percutaneous mitra clip system may be considered to in patients with symptomatic severe secondary MR. Despite guideline detected medical management, including CRT if indicated, who fulfill echocardiographic criteria for eligibility, have a life expectancy of more than one year, and are just inoperable or at high surgical risk by a multidisciplinary heart team. Now, desirable criteria for mitral clip, moderate to severe MR, that is grade 3 or more than 3, pathology in the A2 P2 zone, coptation length more than 2 mm, flail gap less than 10 mm, flail wide less than 15 mm, mitral verb orifice area more than 4, 7, 7, 4, 4 cm square. Mitral valve leaflet length more than 1 cm. Is ischemic MR reversible? Yes, sir. After CABG or PCI, this is reversible to a greater extent unless damage is permanent. Prognosis of ischemic MR is better than MR due to DCM. Why repair is preferable than replacement? In the repair, operative mortality is lower than replacement. In valve replacement, lifelong anticoagulation needed. In replacement, there may prosthetic valve related complications like valve failure, paravalvular leakage, bleeding due to anticoagulation. Poor prognostic feature of MR, LV systolic dysfunction, LV ejection fraction less than 60%, LV IDS more than 45 mm. What are the causes of sudden deterioration on MR? Atrial fibrillation, acute carditis, infective endocarditis, caudal rupture. Frequency of follow-up, severe asymptomatic MR, 6 monthly echo and clinically. Moderate asymptomatic MR, echo 1 to 2 yearly and clinically. Thank you.